right, here we are. It's Thursday. It's been a very busy Thursday. I worked eight hours, and then I went and painted a second coat on my bathroom for an hour and a half, it felt like. I used a tiny roller because I didn't want to get another one out of the fridge. So that's on me. And then I was feeling like cruising the mall, so I did. I didn't find anything exciting besides some Wetzel Spretzels. But anyways, now I'm here. I am getting my late night caffeine fix because I'm feeling it's gonna be a late night because I went and got my backing at work today. My backing, I knew I was gonna have to piece it anyways because this quilt is 51 inches or something. And I knew that I wanted to involve the taco fabric in the backing without it being completely all taco backing. So I got a couple different things and I got my binding today. So let me show you what I got. So for the majority, of the backing I got this orange color I don't even know what color it is I don't know what specific Kona color it is I kind of just grabbed a bolt that looked like it matched the tacos that I picked so I'll show you that and then I'll show you the orange again so I got this art gallery fabric from the day trip collection and so I went off the hearts to Get the orange color so together I'm trying to balance this on my steering wheel together we've got this orange and the tacos combined so it's gonna be mostly orange with like a strip of the tacos to cute see it up a little bit so yeah I think that's gonna be fun get that taco theme in there more so with the chili smiles and then I also got my binding today so I went with the green stripe from the chili smiles line because i think it'll be super cute having that bright color fun binding around the outside and then it's gonna be done so i'm gonna go home i'm gonna go get these all ready and figure out what dimension of strip i want my tacos to be because i'm gonna have to piece that a little bit too and then it's going to be getting ready to quilt which hopefully will be very soon uh, oof, tomorrow's friday and i have friday off because we have an event this weekend and I could be spending all day tomorrow moving. So we'll all find out together how much progress happens. So here we go, let's go make a quilt back. all done got a little bit of orange on top a little strip of tacos and then a bigger chunk of orange on the bottom so then next time you see this it'll be loaded onto the long arm getting ready to quilt I spared you the long boring time lapse but before I had to get quilting I needed batting so I Frankenstein some batting now we're on to quilting okay penguins are all basted in I'm ready to quilt I've got my Ebb and, ebb and flow design all loaded up so now I just got to pull my bobbin and get rolling things I'm learning with this background is I have to check to make sure I can't see any black threads straying through underneath I like that one you kind of see um, because it's kind of obvious because the background's yellow oops
stretched out. So now it's time to unpin and go on with the rest of our day. When I say day, I mean it's 6.45, so dinner time is very close. So now it's time to trim up the quilt edges, cut some binding, and get this penguin party quilt finished. Just agree this is one of the worst things to happen when you're binding intersection that also meets your corner Ugh, it's always a win when that never happens in a quilt but i guess it's gonna happen in this corner Okay, so here we are post penguin party and I've definitely learned a few things on this one. First and foremost, I learned about my thread color matters. Here I was thinking I was doing black thread because my penguins are black and thinking nothing of it. But if you look close, if I let you look close, you'd see that you can see the black threads, not just from the threads I was using for sewing, but also where some of the Kona kind of shredded out and left its mark behind so while i was quilting i was trying to frantically like pick out little bits here and there but when it kept it just kept happening i gave up and i was just like whatever so that was that um the quilting went really fine i only had to bury a couple threads where threads broke or my bobbin ran out that kind of thing and so now it's done now i can say that i've done a penguin party the other thing i learned was there's a reason maybe why there's four colors or done with six colors or 12 colors actually it's hard to shuffle up those colors once i had 12 with the three rows and two of each it was hard to shuffle those up because if you noticed with my layout that i posted and my layout that you're about to see in the finished pictures it's totally different so next time if i do penguins again i will either do less sweater colors or i will do 12 different sweater colors or 24 or however many are on the big one i don't know how many penguins i'll do next time but I did enjoy penguining. It was fun to do. I love Elizabeth Hartman patterns. So without further ado, let's look at some pictures.